Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raja Option Trading. Today is March 19, 2022. Let's take a look at top stocks with a heavy short ratio. As you all know, when the stocks have got heavy short ratio and fundamentals are relatively good, there's a very good chance these stocks can go higher and squeeze those short sellers. So with that, let's quickly jump in and get started. From a market perspective, we'll take a look at market update and see what's in store from a big macro perspective. Then let's look at the ETFs by volume um, or exchange traded funds by volume. This will give us a good idea of what's going on in the market. And then let's look at the heavily shorted stocks with the low RSI, which means stocks are sold off, positive gross margin, tells you companies are relatively stable and volume more than 1 million shares. This is my favorite go-to list to look at uh, top stocks with a heavy short ratio and uh, initiate some trades. And then finally, we'll look at all entire list here with all the stocks with a heavy short ratio and volume more than 1 million shares. So with that, let's jump in and get started. All right, from a top news perspective, we got here Ukraine, uh, its leader pushes for meaningful talks with Russia. As you all know, the talks are going back and forth. So I think we gotta be careful here and we still have the geopolitical tension as we go forward. And Biden had a good talk with, uh, with China and he's uh, warning his Chinese premier of uh, consequences if they help uh, Russia. We'll keep a close watch on it. In a nutshell, we still have the geopolitical tension. We gotta be careful uh, and uh, go from there. And Chinese stocks soared this week, as many of you have noticed. All the stocks have gone up nicely, mainly because uh, Chinese uh, government uh, wants to make the market-friendly policies, and they're also working with the SEC in uh, in USA. Uh, we still need to see what's going on, but at least there's a very good news uh, from China, and Chinese stocks are going higher, much, much higher, as you can see here. <clears throat> we got to be careful. I would not buy at the top here, but, uh, you know, be careful. When they pull back, you could uh, slowly buy, given there's a good support from Chinese government here. And we have federal government here. They approved a 0.25% rate hike. This is the first one since uh, December 2018. And they also indicated they will aggressively rate the hike the rates um, six times in 2022. That's a very aggressive path here. That's why we've got to be careful here. Even though there is a relief rally here that could be short lived because we got a lot, of, lot more hikes are coming here. With the inflation rock solid and red hot. And uh, even the members of the Fed, uh, they paired the expectation here and they'll be watching this uh, sharply increasing inflation. Uh, they might want to, you know, they, they're a little more aggressive as you can see here. That's why I would not count on this rally to continue, uh, but uh, be careful when the market comes down, you could buy. When it's going higher right now, you know, wait and watch. You can take some profit, but I would not initiate new trades but you could look at some of these uh, specific situations in the short, um, heavy short ratio stocks and initiate some buy depending on the situation here. So with that, let's jump in and get started. Look from a market perspective, we got here Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, it's uh, It's been in a down territory as you can see here. Now with this, uh, there is a quite, uh, quite a relief rally as you can see here. Last four or five days, this week is a nice week as you can see here. I am not uh, bullish at this time. You know, it's uh, it went too fast, too quickly. I think we've got to be a little bit careful here. Same story, depending on what whatever indices you see here, even S&P 500, same story. Look, there is a huge uptick here in last week. I think we are pulled. We are uh, we are poised for a little little bit pullback here, given it's uh, it has gone up too quickly. But if you look at a longer term time, time frame here, we got a five year weekly chart. Look, we got a nice uptrend here. Um, you know, when the market comes down like it did last week or uh, two weeks ago, it's always a good buying opportunity. Long term story is intact. We could buy some great stocks and uh, hold it forever. So with that, let's jump in and look at the fear and greed index. From a fear and greed index perspective, right now we're in the fear zone as you can see here. 
and uh, you know we we were much in the extreme fear zone a while ago with around 18 and even 13 and 11 to some extent so right now we are uh, you know recovering from an extreme fear zone we are going into the fear zone right now so i think you know we can come back to extreme fear in a couple of days uh, depending on how geopolitical issues pan out and the fed's language around the interest rate so that's why i would be careful here i would uh, buy the dips and uh, when it goes higher like this um, i would uh, take some profit off the table if you are a trader or a swing trader but if you are a long term investor buy the dips and hold steady and go from there all right so with that from a fear and greed index perspective look we had been in the extreme fear for a while um and now we are trying to go higher this is uh, too quick for me i uh, will see how it goes it's trying to uh, stabilize as you can see here but i would watch this i would buy when there is extreme fear in the market when we are below say 20 that's a good time to buy now it's uh, good to a little bit wait and watch to see what's going on here all right now let's look at the top etfs by volume so look on the top you got spy here SPY is trading nicely. Look at the volume, 103. It's not too high. Uh, when the market goes goes high, uh, typically volume fades off. That's what is going on here. You know, when the market goes high, volume also goes high. That's a you know, very good indicator. But right now we got market going high, but volume is not that great. And look what's going on here. We got TQQQ. It's a 3x uh, bull ETF on top of uh, QQQ. You know, folks are buying this uh, when the market comes down. You know, folks buy uh, ETFs like TQQQ, which is a leveraged 3x bull ETF on top of QQQ. That's why, you know, look, it's going very high. When the market goes up, this 3x ETF will go three times faster than QQQ. That's what's going on here. If you have some TQQQ, I would say, you know, take some profit off the table here. When the market drops off again, you could buy TQQQ here. And look, China is coming back, as you can see here. China is doing nicely. And, um, you know, there's a good support from Chinese government, like you talked about. You know, whenever Chinese stocks drop, uh, you could, you're okay to buy some at these levels here. But wait a little bit, let them come come down. <clears throat> then, as you can see here, semiconductors, we got short semiconductors low here. Anytime you see a short or an inverse ETF, as you call it, they're all going down as you can see here when the market goes up so quickly all these inverse etfs will go down now that's why you know when the market goes high if you're a contrarian you could pick up some sqqq even uh, soxx so that way when the market goes uh, lower you would make some money because these are inverse etfs and look we got gold finally gold is coming down slowly you know the uncertainty is uncertainty is a little bit low here with the market going higher that's why gold is uh, going lower and same story silver is also going lower because uh, now there is some stability at least market went up quickly that's why all these safe haven like gold um, and silver they're all coming down slowly that's what is going on and same story vix and even uh, you know even uvxy which is uh, which is volatility etf that's also going down as you can see here so you know if you're a, if you're a straight trader you know you could buy some of these uh, you know volatility when volatility is down like this and you could also buy some short sqqq because market went up so quickly that's one way to really trade if you're a trader <clears throat> so with that let's jump in here and look at uh, stocks with a heavy short ratio to begin with what we'll do is we we'll look at uh, stocks with a positive gross margin uh, low RSI that tells you stocks are sold off and volume more than 1 million shares. Altman Z score more than 1.8 that tells you these are fundamentally strong companies with the nice uh, financials. These are not going to go bankrupt. And current ratio is more than one that tells you they got enough money to, uh, to satisfy short term financial obligations. So you don't need to worry too much about their financial situation. So with that, let's jump in here. Look, we got here list of stocks. All these stocks have got nice uh, gross margin here. These are positive gross margin companies, as you can see here. They know how to run their their um, uh, efficiency and operations very well. And we also have current ratio here. Current ratio is more than one uh, in most cases here. Uh, whenever it's more than one, those are the stocks where they got enough money to uh, meet the short-term financial obligations. 
And we got to also Altman Z-score. Altman Z-score tells you financial stability of the company. When the Altman Z-score is more than 1.8, these companies are not these companies are not susceptible for bankruptcy, and uh, they can do well financially. And then finally, we got industry benchmark when it comes to profitability, growth, and valuation uh, in the same industry in its respective industry. I like the, these ranks to be lower. When the rank is low, that means companies are doing well. We want the uh, lowest rank here. Uh, those are the good companies. <clears throat> so with that, we got few companies. Uh, we'll talk about few companies uh, and go from there. At top of the list, I also sorted this by short ratio. The stock at the top here has got highest short ratio um, and it goes lower from there. And look, at top of the list, we got U here. Uh, U is a uh, clear, um, name is clear. And look, uh, this stock has been uh, trying to go higher in the five-day time frame. That tells you the stock wants to go higher and it's got a high short ratio. Uh, right now, this, it's got a free uh, uh, cash flow here. That's a good sign here. And um, they got nice current ratio. They got enough money to meet short-term obligations here. RSI is low, that tells the stock is sold off here. And they got nice uh, gross margin, and they got um, you know very good uh, um, sales here, $226 million sales. And look, insiders are buying, as you can see here. Institutions are uh, keeping quiet. That, that's a positive sign here. With this, if you're a, if you're a speculator, you know, this whole short um, ratio uh, trading strategy is for speculators. If you're a speculator, you could, uh, you could speculate and buy some U uh, here, Y-O-U, given uh, there's a nice uh, uptick in the um, uh, shorter term time frame, and it's got good financial position with nice Altman Z-score. And from an industry profitability perspective, rank is three, not too bad. Valuation perspective, rank is four, not too bad. Below five is good. So with that, if you're a speculator, you could uh, buy some U here. Does not have sales growth yet in one year time frame, but it's got a nice gross margin. You're still losing money with the net margin negative, but you could speculate and buy some given it's trying to go higher in the short term. <clears throat> and then we've got a few more here. All Birds is one more company. This used to be very good when it started, you know, IPO. But right now, it's trying to see where to go from here. And look, right now, RSI 35 tells you stock is sold off here. And Altman Z-score is 2.3. That tells you financially stable. And they got good current ratio here, 2.9. They can meet the short-term financial obligations. Stock is trying to go higher, as you can see here. So I could, I could make a case here to buy some bird B-I-R-D, all birds. It's an apparel um, shoe and shoe type, sh uh, makes shoes and apparels. I think it's a good one to slowly start buying here. Even RSI is low and they got enough uh, nice gross margin here. And you could follow a similar methodology here. I would also say, you know, keep keep a watch on inside and institutions here. In case of all bird, we got inside the selling, but we got institutional buying that will kind of neutralize here. So that's why you could uh, buy. Um, and then keep watching, we got Stitch Fix here. Look at the insider buying as well as institution buying. And as you look through here, Stitch Fix also wants to go higher. Look, uh, in a five day period, it went higher. You could also buy this one here, uh, given it's, it wants to go higher. Then as you look through here, we got LCII. It's got a nice insider buying here and uh, stock is uh, responding as you can see here the nice uh, one day uptick and even seven day uptick low rsi you could uh, look at this one also here and it also has got good industry benchmark as you can see here doing very well compared to its own industry here <clears throat> and you could look at a few more here as you, as you scan through uh, keep watch keep a watch on how stock is doing in one day five day if you see a small uptick you could buy them but if you see a huge uptick like good rx here I say, you know, just wait a little bit, let it cool off. It's uh, too much, it went up too much too quickly. You should uh, wait and watch. But if it is going up slowly, probably like a game stock, dig game stop here, you could slowly buy. You know, that shows you game stop wants to go higher. Uh, and they had some uh, news about uh, going into NFTs that might help the company, but stock came down in couple, um, in um, last couple of days, as you might have noticed. It's trying to go higher in one day. And then you got a few more, you know, keep watching one day, five day to get a queue here um, and uh, see what's going on. 
<clears throat> and if you're a conservative investor, you know, keep watching net margin. If the net margin is positive, you could uh, take a look at such companies and uh, see if you can buy them if you're a conservative in investor. We got a few companies with net margin positive, as you can see here. We got two more here. Uh, we got Serens and Wingstop, both are net margin positive companies. And you could look at such companies. Um, and as you can see here, Serens has gone up nicely. I would say, you know, you could uh, wait a little bit on Serens here. But Wingstop here, uh, you could buy here. RSI is very low here. You could uh, take advantage and buy some here. All right, so we got a few more net margin com positive companies here. We got HGH and Herbalife here, both are net margin positive companies. You could take a look at them also. And look, they're trying to go higher in the short term. You could, uh, you know, slowly buy them and participate in the upswing here. All right, now we got uh, one more page here. A similar situation going on here. All these stocks have got um, high short ratio, as you can see here. Short ratio, because these are good stocks with nice fundamentals, short ratio is dropping off big time, as you can see here. Um, and as we see here, some of these companies are making their way in one day, five days, they, they want to go higher. Uh, especially market is up these days, that's why these are doing very well. And then you've got insider institution here. Uh, looks like in this case, we don't have a good compelling case here. Maybe DNA here. DNA looks like institutions are buying here. Stock is trying to go higher. You could, uh, you could, uh, um, I would say, wait on DNA here. Uh, mainly because, our, okay, you could buy some DNA here. But the only problem with DNA is it's got a high price to sales ratio. Tells you valuation is a little bit super hot here. That's why, you know, you could look at better candidates. Unless you're a total speculator, you could buy some DNA. Given it's a low RSI, stock wants to go higher in one day. There's a good chance this can go higher, um, but in a short ratio is really low here, 7%. Don't expect a huge uptick here. All right, so now let's look at a few more names here. This is all the stocks with a heavy short ratio. Uh, we got volume more than 1 million shares. This is uh, basically entire list with the you know volume more than uh, 1 million shares. So when I look at this list here, it's an entire list. I want to make sure you look at the entire list here. But what I would say is give importance to what insiders are doing and what, what institutions are doing. As an example, look at you. We already talked about it. You could uh, make a case for stocks like this one, given uh, insiders are buying and institutions are also keeping quiet here, not buying or selling. And then you got a few more here, GitLab, one of my favorite. I've been buying a couple of weeks ago on this one here when I talked to, talk to you earlier on this one here. It went up nicely, as you can see here, up 27% and 77% uh, in five days. Right now, RSI is 60 on GitLab. I would say wait a little bit, let it cool off, then you could buy here. It's a great company, but I want this to cool off a little bit, given it's, uh, it has gone up so much in the uh, last couple of days. And then you can look at stocks like Blink here. Look, even though insiders are selling, institutions are buying it. That's why stock is uh, going up nicely in the last couple of days. And same story here, RSI is a little high for me. I would uh, wait for, I would look at stocks with a little bit lower RSI and buy those here. And as you scan through here, uh, you know, as a trend, whenever there's an insider buying or institution buying, typically stock wants to go higher uh, pretty quickly. Look here, we got BTBT, uh, $3 stock here. It's uh, sold off completely here. RSI is 50 middle of the road. Stock has gone up nicely, as you can see here. I would say if these stocks get hit a little bit, you could buy some BTBT. At this time, it's gone up so much so quickly. I would wait a little bit, let it cool off, and then you can buy. And I would look at stocks like Sava. It's one of my favorite trading stock here. This one in RSI is 48. Stock has been uh, starting to go higher. You could make a case to buy some Sava here or Kasava. This can go higher um, given it's uh, trying to go higher in a, in a, in a five-day, 10-day time frame here. So with that, uh, let's jump in, look at a few more and go from there. So I apply the same methodology here. Keep watching what insiders are doing, what institutions are doing. And in this scenario, you, you can see a few, few names where institutions are buying. Look, we got uh, Dermatech. It used to be a high-flying stock a while ago. Looks like now institutions want to buy some Dermatech here. It's uh, responding nicely with the increase in price here. And Dermatech has got, you know, RSI 55. A little bit high for me. I would pass on this one because RSI is a little bit high. But instead, when you see RSI low, that's when you go and buy them. 
and as you can scan through here we got few more here atus here we got both insiders and institutions buying here stock is responding and look it's got a rsi of 45 you could buy this one slowly given rsi low and stock is trying to respond nicely in one day five day with the nice increase here and we got a few more here look we got uh, two more oxygen as well as uh, bz here oxygen went up so quickly here with the institution buying i would not touch oxygen here with the rsi 58 here um bz as you can see here rsi 51 i would say wait on this one also given it's gone up so quickly here instead focus on lower rsi candidates as you can see here you got few candidates with a little more lower rsi um, i would focus on those candidates and go from there and keep watching one day five day ten day here if a stock has gone up so quickly i would say wait on that and uh, go with the stocks that are trying to go high, high slowly in one day five day ten day those are the stocks that you can uh, slowly buy and go from there as an example we got chewy here you could uh, make a case for chewy um, but chewy rsi is 52 um, most of the gain <clears throat> probably has been made here given it's went up nicely i would say look for a little bit lower rsi and go from there all right now we got continuation here apply similar thought process keep watching inside an institution buying here you want at least uh, both of them to at least buy look asana one of my favorite trading stock of late it's uh, rocketed nicely higher and even up here asana has got rsi of 46 if asana comes down i would be a buyer the ceo mr dustin is uh, very supportive of the stock he's been buying his own stock left and right so if this stock gets hit i would buy some asana it's uh, it can go higher <clears throat> and then we got a few more as you can see here keep watching inside an institution here we got shift four it's a fintech company as many of you know insider buying institutions are buying stock has responded nicely at this time i would wait given rsi 62 uh, no point in buying at this time here instead look at stocks with the lower rsi here which indicates stocks have been sold off look at uh, vldr uh, it's again uh, one of the good ev stocks as you might be knowing here rsi is low stock is trying to go higher in uh, one day and five day uh, you could take a look at such stocks fundamentally it's not good it's uh, for speculators uh, given um, as you can see here they got some sales but sales growth is not there yet if you're if you're a speculator you could speculate on such names here given stocks want to go higher and it has got to got a low rsi so whenever you see low rsi less than uh, 45 that's a typically a good candidate to play the short squeeze game versus a higher uh, rsi candidate all right so let's look at a few more here and uh, go from there okay this is uh, one more list here uh, apply similar methodology let me just move this a little bit looks like it's shifted all right all right let's look at this list here <clears throat> as you can see here uh, apply same methodology keep watching what inside are doing what institutions are doing in some cases we got a nice institutional buy we got h h i b b hibit as you can see here uh, this has got nice uh, insider buy uh, keep, then look at the rsi here 52 middle of the road i would say you know wait there are better candidates if it's lower than 45 that's a good one for you to buy we talked about bird that's a good candidate lower rsi as you can see here and then you got two more here we got pei and room uh, both have got low rsi as you can see here <clears throat> in this case we got room could be a better candidate stock wants to go higher in uh, one day five day i would uh, bet on room here and on pei it's a penny stock uh, it's uh, going down i say wait a little bit let it settle down first then we got a few more with the little bit lower rsi here we got 44 prts car parts one of my favorite stock here you could make a case for this one also here it's trying to go slowly uh, higher as you can see here rsi is low you could uh, buy some of this stock also and even g1 here g1 therapeutics low rsi just 45 as you can see here you could make a case for this one also it's also trying to go higher as usual keep watching one day five day ten day if the stock has made some nice move as he, as indicated by this uh, um, yellow box here i would uh, wait on that a little bit and also watch the rsi we want low rsi below 45 stock may making a slow move higher in one day five day i would uh, bet on such candidates and go from there 
All right with that thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe